Throughout Rwanda, broadband technologies are transforming lives thanks to a visionary digital strategy led by President Paul Kagame. When we invested in a broadband network that reaches all our 30 districts, we are thinking big. Our president is the number one promoter of ICT in Rwanda. So he has ICT at heart, and this is because he has his people at his heart, because ICT comes to improve the lives of the citizens. What the president is looking at is transforming our society and making ICT a culture for this new generation that, that is coming up. In this film, we look at some of the innovative applications that are using the power of ICTs to turbocharge Rwanda's development. And we meet some of the people who are benefiting most. Emmanuel Musabi Yamana grows potatoes on his farm in the Musanzi district of northern Rwanda. He's one of thousands of farmers who are getting a better price for their produce thanks to a mobile phone app called eSoko. Before we had this technology, business people would come to collect our products and impose their own prices. Some of us would bring our potatoes to Kigali market, thinking that they would get more, and later realized that they got even less than the price here in Musanze. Isoko uses SMS technology to keep farmers up to date with the latest market price of different produce. This means that they can make more informed decisions on what crops to grow and avoid being exploited by middlemen when they come to sell their harvest. With over 75% of Rwanda's population earning a living through agriculture, Isoko is having a significant impact on income levels throughout the country. And it's just one among dozens of ways in which communications technologies are contributing to sustainable development in Rwanda. In healthcare, a project called Rapid SMS is helping maternity nurses like Marie-Jeanne Mukashaka take even better care of their patients. Normally in the village we have about four pregnant women and every evening I manage to go to every single household so I can visit them and maybe give them advice on how to deal with their pregnancy. That's how we're doing our job on a daily basis. Using the system, Marie-Jeanne sends updates on the health of her patients to a central database held by the Ministry of Health and shared with local hospitals. When there is any danger sign in the community where it's a remote area, they can just report on that and the health centre, this hospital is notified so they can take action in real time. To prepare coming generations for Rwanda's new digital age, President Kagame's government is bringing ICTs into the classroom. The One Laptop Per Child program has already distributed over 200,000 specially designed computers, most of them to children in rural areas. What we're looking into these laptops is using them as tools for education. They're in a new environment where they play while learning. They, they are able to visualize, to memorize better, so it's definitely um, a, a, a new way of teaching. You can imagine a, a student in the, uh, in the rural area learning the same courses that he would have if he was in Kigali, in Singapore or in Tokyo. Thank you, Mr. President, because you, you gave me a laptop and I'm very happy. ICTs are contributing to many other aspects of development in Rwanda. Oiling the wheels of the justice system by putting criminal records online making banking and taxation more efficient and convenient, and helping to control national borders. It helps us to speed up all those services. I may say before, it will take long to clear the number of passengers which normally on a daily basis cross this border, and this will create delays. Underpinning all these innovations is a program of investment in broadband infrastructure that's given Rwanda the fastest internet speeds in sub-Saharan Africa. 
Over 3,000 kilometres of fibre optic cable have been laid, while the government has formed a partnership with Korea's KT Corporation to bring 4G wireless internet to Kigali and beyond. Within three years, every city, every town in the Rwanda will get access to the 4G LT network. Based on the network, we believe Rwanda can develop platform and content and it will become an ICT-oriented society. We're going to have smart agriculture, uh, smart health, smart local government, smart community, smart education, even smart uh, roads. Everything will be smarter because they will be having more connectivity mostly and service delivery will be, will be much faster. By 2016 to 2020, we want to focus on knowledge-based economy. You cannot have it without ICT. By thinking big on broadband, President Kagame has accelerated his country's development. Rwanda's ICT revolution is an inspiration for other countries in Africa and throughout the world.